Hello and welcome back to Project Cars 2. Here today in the touring cars we are using the BMW 320 touring car so it's a 3 series and we're going around the Red Bull Ring Grand Prix circuit against 31 ladies and gentlemen against 31 other drivers uh, we are starting from the back as well so this could be a very interesting race I've also put the weather on uh, randomized so it could start to rain it could even snow I, I don't know what the weather will be doing so hopefully we can have a very good race it's been so far in the practice it's been very enjoyable to drive this car around the circuit I seem to be getting a very good drive off turn one and two compared with the AI I think that's probably because I don't use traction control where I believe if I've read it correctly the AI in this game do use traction control which is weird I've, that's quite rare that you see AI using traction control in game but I believe they are set to use traction control they adjust their own brake bias is throughout the race and stuff like that so yeah who knows but let uh, I'm not gonna mess with tuning or anything like that or strategy we have enough fuel all oh, that's good you see there we are right at the back in P32 let's get this under the way decent start we've got one of the guys already Now, judging by practice, this is going to be chaos into turn one. Whoa, really having some on the brakes there. A bit of contact with the driver in front. I don't think we got any damage from it. See, even with having to slam on like that, we've still got a better exit than the AI out of there. Might be able to send it up the inside here. Engineer telling me light drizzle any minute now. That Astra touring car is very fast in a straight line. We're a little bit quicker actually. I'm forcing him towards the grass there. Oh dear. That was quite a hefty impact. Oh. Got a little bit of damage there. Hopefully, it won't affect performance too much. Ooh, struggling on the brakes. Ooh, messing up my line through there just because there's so many cars. Being very aggressive on the downshifts. Nice and early on the power against the slipstream from the Mercedes, I think it is. Whoa, he's on the brakes there. That nearly caught me out. Very tricky to get slowed down for that turn in these cars. Much better exit than him. The McGann got a pretty good exit though. Up into P24, so we've obviously taken eight cars already. Whoa, really Constantino. You know? oh, it's a slam on the brakes again. Revving it right out to 7,000. See if we can go up the inside. Oh, no, the McGann's gone there. Oh, there's been a big pile up. Ooh. This isn't exactly going to help us in the long term. That there's a slow car. Looked like someone crashed. Might have been the driver behind me that crashed there, actually, to be fair. Wow, we are 15 seconds off the lead, though. Oh, he sent it up my inside. Fair play to him. 
Got a very good exit though, get the cut back on him. Got the inside line for this turn. Ooh, struggling again on the brakes. He's back down on my inside. Oh, I've nearly lost it. That was close. Nice and early on the throttle, get a good drive out of that corner. Oh, it's going to be a bit deep. Oh. Got another car up the inside because of that. Keep it side by side, nice to hold the position. Very nicely. Fourteen lap race for this, by the way. Down into first, do this one, I think. Bit of wheel spin on the curve in there, but it got us a very good exit, to be fair. Oh, I can see the rain. It is raining. How bad is it? Much better exit than the front wheel drive Mercedes there. Uh, that is an advantage that we have is we're rear wheel drive. So he should understeer quite a, look, uh, quite a bit. Oh, turn car, turn. Good exit out of there. Sight managed to get the Mercedes. Oh, he's very aggressively tried to send it back down the inside there. Not going to allow him to do that. Whoa, that was close. Now, I believe if we pit, it should put the rain tyres on for us. I don't think we have to select rain tires. Sixteen second behind the leader. Let's hopefully try and bring that down quite a bit. I think I'm gonna box this lap to be fair because it's getting quite heavy. You guys might not think it looks that heavy, but on slick tyres it gets quite tricky. You can see the rain is starting to sit on the track quite quickly actually. Oh, I can't get stopped for this turn. Yeah, it's definitely time to come into the pits for me. Whoa, so squirrely on the brakes. Whoa, we nearly lost it. You can see there in the bottom right, the tyre's starting to lose temperature. That's how wet it is on track. It's got very gentle on the throttle, early up shifts. Looks like the person in front of us coming. Oh! That wasn't good. Go on, get in gear. Let's go, go, go. That's really not good for our race. Oh, it's especially not good since all these people are queuing up. This might hamper us a little bit. What do you think of this livery though, by the way, guys? I think this looks fantastic. Very nice looking livery. A lot of cars in the pits, but that also means a lot of them aren't in the pits.
So we should be bolting the wets on. Yep, look at that. You can see the tyres were grooved. So hopefully, if we get a good enough outlap, we might be able to make some positions. Because I could do with getting some positions back. Oh, they've just fixed my car as well. That's good. Let me go. Okay, mate. Wow, we are dead last. <laughs> Not too surprising that we are last because there's a few cars who haven't pitted. A very good run out there. He looks like he's struggling for straight line speed, that bloke. Whoa, that was far too late on the brakes. Very nearly ran in the back of that guy. Back down into last position, but it's okay, we can still make ground. Cost it through, cost it through. Very dent on throttle. Drop it to third. The front wheel drive Astra struggling there. You can see him washing wide. Nice to get down his inside. The goal wasn't to win this race, by the way, for you guys who were thinking, because we did start down in 32nd place, let's not forget. The goal for me in this race is just to have fun, put on a good show for you guys. You can see there just how many cars in the pits. We haven't actually lost that much time because we're back up to 24th, sitting in the slipstream of this Astra. Got a very good run compared to him coming out the pits. Coming from miles back there to send it over the entire. Oh, there's people going slow. Just got two cars there. Locking up a bit. Whoa! We aquaplane there. That was a little scary. Luckily, we didn't hit the wall. We managed to keep it out of the wall. That was quite a big aquaplane, though. That worried me a little bit. You can see the standing water there at the side near the curbs. Might have to stay out of that for a little bit. Carry the speed. Oh, that's a little wide. I don't think we were all four off the track. We'll go to the exterior camera. You can just see how wet it is. One second. I'll have a quick sip of tea. Uh, that's a good cup of tea. It doesn't actually tell me what tyres people are on, so that's a little bit of a shame. Right, let's resume. Get back into the proper camera angle. You can see the reflections on the floor with that much standing water that's around. 
Whoa, I don't think he saw his very nearly hit him. Much later on the brakes than the other three series there. All sorts of wheel spin out of there. We're 18 seconds behind the leader. Hopefully we'll be able to catch that up. Just over half race distance to go. Surely he had an issue there because he was not going very fast at all. Yeah, it looks like he did have an issue because he's dropped back very quickly. Tried to get off the throttle there because I got a lot of wheel spin on the curb. Again, a lot of wheel speed on the curb. Trying to stay out of the spray really from the McGann, but I can't. Can't afford to sit behind him. Hopefully, get him on the brakes down into turn two. Oh, so it might happen before the brake. Go to the inside. I don't know if you guys could hear the lock up there, but we did lock up quite badly. Up into P13 now. Wow, really struggling locking up on the front wheels especially. Whoa, nearly aquaplaned again there. There's a little bump on the inside of the track there which I've noticed. And that is where all the water is sitting. Oh, the lights have come on on the dashboard. I don't know if that's me pressing something or... Using the engine to brake quite a lot. Look at this, he's having a look down the inside. Oh, we've jumped that a little bit. It might give us a warning for that, because that was quite an aggressive cut. This McGann is itching to get past the Vauxhall. Everyone seems very close together here up at the front. We're only 11 seconds behind the leader now. Go to the inside again. I don't think he was expecting that. Kind of forced our way through a little bit on the inside. Five laps to go. We are in P11. Get off it, cat. So we're P11. Our last lap was a 148.8. And the leader's last lap was a 155. So we are catching very quickly. I don't know why. I haven't actually done a wet race against the AI yet though, so it might be a lack of skill on the AI's part in the wet. But we've still got 10 cars to overtake if we want to get into the lead. Leave it in fourth here, I don't want to risk wheel spinning. Oh, look at that. Just obliterating the AI there with the traction. 
Can we get him as well? Ooh, nearly touching his side by side. Still on the inside. He's got a better run than me. He cut me off quite well there. And now we're under pressure from this guy again. That was a lot of wheel spin. Four laps to go. Can we do it, folks? There's this little group, and there's another group up ahead, which is the leaders. We are really quickly making our way through the field here. Ooh, was not expecting to go down the inside of this block there, but he was going pretty slow. Whoa! Whew. Once again, very lucky to save that there, I think. That was a massive aquaplaning moment. As I said, very lucky to save it. This car feels so nervous on the brakes, but it's actually really good fun to drive. If you guys have this game and haven't already, I very highly suggest driving this car. Bit of a slipstream on the Astro here. Got him. We're up into 6th position, I can see the leader. Let's not make any mistakes and we could be within a shout. Locked up, no steering at all when you lock up. That's good though, that is very realistic on Project Cars front. You lock up on Gran Turismo Sport and you can still steer perfectly. The, the first and second position and these two guys holding each other up. Oh, look at that, making mincemeat. We're, and just like that, we're up into third position. I don't know why we seem so much faster in a straight line than these guys, but we definitely have a straight line speed advantage. Whoa! I wasn't expecting him to cut across me like that. Whoa, bit of that complaining again there. Well, we definitely have a straight line speed advantage. Very, very much locking up there. Whoa! Really struggling on the traction there. This is a very enjoyable race though, folks. You 
you see with the corrections I'm doing we're just getting little twitches under the brakes and under the accelerator having to be very careful either he's constantly on the brakes or his lights are very bright Whoa, I've hit him. Whoa! Son of a bitch. I got too greedy. Oh my god, I can't steer now. Ah, oh, damn it, man. What a shambles. All the way down back in P9 now. I will not give up. I'm going to push harder than ever right now. Look, we got such a good exit. Inside, no messing. I don't have time to mess about if I want to get at least on the podium. You can see all the cars in front of us there. Let's go late on the brakes, late on the brakes. Now. Oh, that was too late. Oh, dear. I've got one and a half laps here, folks. I'm aiming for the podium. I want to get back up there. That's what happens when you don't learn from your mistakes, folks. I've said about three times now that I'm aquaplaning on the inside of that corner. And when you don't take your own advice, stuff like that happens. Oh, and again, this is... Whoa! This is really turning to a shambles. Looks like we're gonna come home P13 unless I mess it up again. What a shame, that was such a good race. You can't win them all though, of course, folks. little disappointing but I mean it's still been a fantastic race for me really good fun just to share my uh, didn't learn from my own mistakes there towards the end Stay wide here. See, stay wide, don't have to play. <laughs> I usually don't do stuff like that when I don't learn from my own mistakes. Get off the fucking curb! Oh, I'm such a moron! I am such a moron, folks.
Let's get this guy on the line at least, hopefully. Slipstream, slipstream, slipstream. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Did I get him? I think I got him. Well, that's a very disappointing result, but it was a, a very, very fun race. If you guys have Project Cars 2 and want a fun race, I suggest trying that because that was, honestly, that was fantastic. I really enjoyed every minute of that, even the spins. But uh, yeah, if you guys want to see more content like this, please feel free to press the like, comment, subscribe button, all that good stuff. Keep me entertained. Let me know what you guys want to see uh but yeah thank you very much folks for watching i do really hope you enjoyed this video and take care and have a fantastic evening folks see you soon